I'm going to tell you a short story about the power of love. I was 22 years old when my beloved cat, Frosty, became critically ill. She had some form of uh, disease that was eating a hole in her lip and in part of her mouth. I took her to the vet and the vet said there was no medicine, there was no surgery that would save her and that the kindest thing that I could do would be to put her to sleep right then. I was devastated. I couldn't, there would be no way. I scooped Frosty up, I put her in a kitty cat carrier and I brought her home. Now, up to this point, uh, I had kind of left any kind of spiritual journey. I had a little a baby boy that was three months old. So when I found Frosty, Frosty fit in the palm of my hand. It took 13 eye drops to feed her, to keep her alive. A little bit of wet to toilet paper on her bottom to make her go to the bathroom. I fed and changed her more than I did my three-month-old son, Christopher. So she was like my little fur child. There had been no way that I could do this. So I started pleading with God, please spare Frosty. Please, please spare Frosty. And, they, and each time I'd say a prayer, I would get more uh, worked up about it. And then all of a sudden in one of the prayers, I, I have Frosty on my lap. Her head is by my knees. And I ask God not only to heal her, but also at the same time, I make a commitment. I said, if you heal Frosty, I will find out why I was different. I would develop whatever potential I had, and I would be about his work. If it wasn't for this experience with Frosty, I would not be here today. All of a sudden, when I made that commitment, I hear and feel a memory of me as a little child that comes forward powerfully. I see myself, my little hands wrapped around a little bird that had been injured or a little squirrel, some little being. And I would wrap my hands around that being and I would ask God to please heal this being. Then my hands would get hot. That little being would all of a sudden perk up wiggle around and as I open my hand that being would run out of my hand or fly as fast as it could and then I did this thing of pretending it never happened I had a problem with my mind anyway of memory so it was easy to forget it why did I want to forget it I was raised in a southern baptist background and I was taught that you could be doing the devil's work and not even know it and I was terrified that I would be doing something wrong. So now I'm 22 years old. I'd left all of that. And now I want that innocent little child in me that all she wanted to do was help another being feel happy and healthy and healed. I wanted to feel those little hot hands of mine. I wanted God to heal Frosty. I wanted that innocent aspect that brings power. Um, so I'm Frosty's on my lap and the memory comes forward. I place my hands on each side of her face. I close my eyes and I'm saying my prayer, please feel, heal Frosty. I promise I will keep my, my commitment with you, my covenant with you that I'll find out why I'm different. My hands get hot and it's like all of a sudden, it's like trying to put two magnets together. There's a force field between the palms of my hand going through her face and they're getting hotter and hotter. And then all of a sudden she jumps down and wants to start to eat. And so each day, three times a day, I did this prayer. I let my hands on her face and then slowly, slowly, I watched that little hole in her side of her mouth get smaller and smaller and smaller. Frosty was healed. 
She lived to be 21 years of age. And I'm standing here helping other people experience their relationship with their animal companions. So the blessing that God provided for me was not only a memory, but that blessing of love that I did for Frosty and the healing. So our words and our intention carries an enormous amount of power.